Hey YouTube, today we're looking at three different 48 volt server rack batteries that are available in June of 2023. Over here to my right, this is the Rich Solar Alpha 5 battery. In my center is the EG4 LL version 2. Over here on my left is the EG4 Life Power. Let's take a look at them real quick. On the right, the Rich Solar battery. This battery is shipped with a set of parallel cables. These are four gauge cables. These use um, what they call an amphenol connector, which is this connector here. This is also shipped with a set of battery cables, about just about seven feet, six and a half, seven feet in length. It's got a standard lug on one end, the amphenol connector on the other. This is also shipped with a long communications cable, again, about six feet long or so, a grounding cable, parallel communications cable, a reset tool. Um, this battery has dual lugs, um, so you can hook up you know, two lugs at the same time. Bunch of communications ports. Here's your breaker. I've been, this battery's been real quirky with me. If you wanna watch some of my other videos, you'll see some of the issues I've been having. But let's get this thing turned on again. As you can see, it does have a screen not color, but it's nice and bright. You can see everything clearly on it. Um, this battery, unfortunately, was not shipped with a manual. There's no manual available online, so we don't have any information on this. Rich Solar, as of June 2023, really needs to step up and get some more information on this battery. Also, another thing about this battery is this is a 15S battery, where most other batteries are uh, 16S. That's why these are 51.2. This is actually a 48 volt battery. So this is a 15S battery, so it's not going to get up to the 51 volts. It's not going to have as many amp hours or watt hours because it's 15 cells instead of 16. So that being said, I don't really recommend this one. Maybe down the road, if I ever got a chance to look at it again, if they fix some of the issues, um, I would possibly reconsider it. But for now, I'm not recommending this battery. Let's move over to these two. This is the LL version 2. This is Signature Solar. I got this from Signature Solar. This is EG4's LL. This is the second version, like I said. This is their more expensive battery. This was shipped with a manual. This battery has a 10-year warranty. Um, battery was also shipped with a parallel communications wire. I set a six gauge parallel, I'm sorry, I set a six gauge parallel battery cables. This battery has two lugs. It has a color display. Turn that on for you. Has the breaker. Two lugs. Communications ports are on this side. If you want more depth reviews on these batteries, go ahead and check out some of my other videos. Right now, I'm kind of just doing a quick comparison of the three. Here you can see the color display. Boom. Moving over here, we got the Life Power 4 from EG4. Um, no manual was shipped with it, but you can get the manual at Signature Solar's website or on EG4's website. This was also shipped with a parallel communications cable, a set of six gauge communications, I'm sorry, parallel battery cables. One terminal does have the breaker, couple of communications ports, state of charge indicator. Um, five year warranty on this battery. Here's just a quick side by side. You can see the three um, batteries aren't usually an exciting part of your system. Hopefully you set the battery and you forget about it. But this is three different options that are available. I do recommend both of these. Um, these EG4 batteries uh, have been really successful for me so far. I really like um, the testing I've done. Uh, if you want to check them out, you can get them from Signature Solar in the links below. Again, right now, I wouldn't recommend the Rich Solar until they get some updated documentation. Maybe I'll try it again in the future. But check back for some future videos, and we'll test out different things. Thanks for checking out. Bye.